<sighs> uh, let's admit it, sometimes it's hard to get a good night's sleep, especially when your team is playing on Sunday night football until 10.30 at night. Go Pack Go, right? But Garver is here to help us. Joining us this morning is Whitney Gorsinger. She's the in-house wellness coordinator to talk about the importance of sleep and to give us a few tips on how to get a better night's rest. And I might have to just take a little, take a little nap here in the middle of this, Whitney. That's totally fine. Naps are good. They are actually a really great way for you to make sure that you're productive and can function throughout the rest of the day. All right, so this, when you're not getting enough good rest at night, what really happens for you the next day, which I will probably discover about 10 o'clock this morning? So you end up just being really tired and sluggish, and a great way for you to make sure that you're going to be productive in the workplace and at home is to make sure that you're getting at least seven to nine hours of sleep for adults and nine to 12 for kids. Mm, I, I believe that my, my, especially my 12-year-old is wanting to sleep a whole lot more hours now than he used to. Is there a point in like their teenage years where the kids need a whole lot more sleep? I think that adults need just as much sleep as kids. I think that we actually are kind of like toddlers. We need snacks and naps. And I think it should be okay for us to throw tantrums every once in a while. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, other than <laughs> just keeping from avoiding feeling sluggish and maybe not thinking as sharp, is there anything else that, like, uh, you know, long-term not getting enough sleep can cause or lead to? Yeah, um, I mean, it's super important for you to make sure that you're getting plenty of sleep again because it kind of is like... Your brain tends to go into a fog when you're not getting enough sleep. So you're just not as coherent. Um, you can't make quick decisions as fast. So it's just, again, super important. Um, the best way for you to make sure that you do that is to set a bedtime. So again, okay. adults need bedtimes too. All right, so you need a bedtime. So I, I watched the game until 1030 last night, go Packers, and uh, then I went to bed. But I've often heard maybe TV up to the time you go to bed is probably not the best. Yeah, cutting back on that screen time at least two hours before you go to bed is going to be a great way for you to make sure that your body is knows that it's ready to go to sleep. Keeping your bedroom nice and cool, nice and dark with your sleep masks. Mm -hmm. um, and then reading a book is my favorite way to make sure that I'm going to sleep on time and can kind of calm down and, and get ready. I tell you what, though, if I read a book, if I wanted to read a book after turning off the TV, go to bed, I would be out like that. It's just exactly. a matter of like two minutes because reading just <laughs> does that to me. All right. That's hey, by the way, cool. thank you for the, the sleep mask here. It's like, You're so welcome. It's like the Oprah Winfrey <laughs> show here. She gave us like all these masks here to wear, so I'm going to keep mine on and, you know, you get a mask. You get a mask. Hillary loves them, too, by the way. Hillary Hunt loves these, Whitney, because she said they're just so soft. They are. They're the softest. Everybody should sleep with Garver sleep masks. There you go. Well, I got about 13 more. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Whitney, thanks so much for joining us this morning.